Hello FinCom team, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, whatever time you are seeing this uh, the demo session. So this is a demo session I am going to record specifically for FinCom team and I am very excited. I would have preferred uh, you know blackboard or whiteboard but then because I don't have it so let's go with you know the presentation format. So I am going to screen record this presentation uh, with also my video and photo member screen. So as I said I am very excited and you know let's uh, begin the presentation. So my name is Tejas and I am going to be your training partner for today and uh, today's topic what I have selected is uh, standard costing. So uh, standard costing is very interesting topic uh, because it's you know, not only a little difficult or complex topic what people find in theory but then when you, uh, you know, talk about its practical implication or day to day use in the corporate world in my uh, you know, personal experience this is a topic which is uh, used widely in you know day to day business operations so be it in any area of you know costing or management accounting i think people will face this topic a lot in the real life scenario also so i think that has uh, made me to select this topic and uh, you know as uh, standard costing is a complete package so it's never only a standard costing so that's why i would say that it's you know one plus one offer when you hear a term standard costing it's not only standard costing but then it is always to be considered with the part which is a variance analysis so standard costing and variance analysis go together you know hand in hand and both topics are not a standalone topic but then we need to study together and that's that is how we are going to do that today so you know before we uh, begin uh, the actual uh, you know topic let's understand how our session is you know design or structure so first in the first part we will see the definition so you know what is standard costing what is variance analysis let's try to understand from the you know the theory uh, point of view that how the definition is given and then what it talks about then uh, we will take a step back and we will try to understand you know where what is the position of standard costing in the uh, overall costing family so i think this will give us a better background to understand and appreciate standard costing also then uh, we will see few examples of standard costing we will take one you know, simple example we will take one complex example which requires some additional calculation or some additional concepts so we will see that so for that uh, for the example we will move to excel sheet then uh, after seeing the example, we will also see you know, the real world scenario, how standard costing is actually used or how it is, uh, you know, affects the real work in the corporate environment. So uh, the another point is uh, who is the right, you know, target audience uh, for this topic for this session. So I would say uh, the professional uh, intermediate students who are learning standard costing for the first time. For them i think this is a good beginning but then this also will give a good perspective or it will brush up the knowledge of uh, people who have already learned standard costing but maybe now they are revisiting the concept so this session should help them also yeah so with this i think basic uh, things uh, let's move and uh, you know, see what is the standard costing so what is the definition of that so for definition part, we will refer to the definition of what uh, the CIMA or Chartered Institute of Management Accountant UK has defined. So for standard costing as well as for variance analysis, we will use the definition given by CIMA. So I'll read out the definition first and then we will you know, break it down and uh, try to understand what it tries to say and then what are the important factors. So the definition goes is uh, the plan unit of cost of the product component or service produced in a period the standard cost may be determined on number of basis the main use of standard cost is in performance measurement control stock valuation and in establishment of selling price so i think if you carefully read these three sentences you will see that the implication or application of standard costing is very wide. It is not restricted only to do a costing or calculate a cost, but then it talks about also control, performance measurement, stock valuation, and also in establishing selling prices. 
so as i said the standard costing is a topic or a subject which is related to many areas and that is why it is very useful but the key points what one can understand from this definition is standard costing is something related to plan activities so what is this plan means so this plan is basically related to your business plan so i think everybody is aware that uh, year on year basis organization will do business plan be it in a you know budget format or maybe doing a forecast or estimation and then these plans normally will cover from start to end uh, the whole business process from how much we are going to sell to how much going we are going to produce what kind of headcount manpower is required and then basis of that we will see that what is the profitability for that organization so somewhere standard costing is largely related to this and how it is related because this plan activity is a kind of input for standard costing because when you are calculating a standard cost for say maybe a future period so obviously you will need some data and we will see how you know standard cost calculation is done maybe in uh, coming slides so there we can correlate but then lot of activities uh, are related to business planning so that's why then it becomes a very important activity and that is why i said the in practical uh, yeah. job also you will see that many cost accountant or many management accountant or anybody who is you know working in this costing and management area are related or doing activities which are related to standard cost so i think plan is first important or key point what we learn so standard costing is derived from business planning then the second point for definition talks about or the key point of definition is performance measurement so standard costing is not just a accounting or you know the calculation is done you know what is the cost it is also used to evaluate the performance that is also used to check whether the organization's kpis are met or not and then that increases the importance of standard costing in multi you know multifold way because it's not only a you know calculation part but then here the analysis part also comes because in when you measure something you are comparing something and third important point what definition talks about is it's a periodic nature so it's not a kind of you know one time activity where you set your standard cost and then you forget for you know multiple years it's not like that it is going to be a periodic activity so maybe you will set a standard cost for a year or maybe a shorter period but then even if the standard cost is set for one year you will revisit it on a monthly basis or you know a regular basis to check how what is happening in that standard cost versus the actual scenario so three points what we saw was plan performance measurement and periodic so interestingly now i also realize that if you see these three points starts with p you know it's like you know 3p of standard costing like we have 4p of marketing so maybe we can say that uh, standard costing definition can be easily remembered by remembering this 3p what are these 3p plan performance and periodic nature of the standard cost so this is the definition part i think we will uh, get better clarity when we actually will see the example and uh, in the coming slide uh, as i said when we will discuss how it is being used in the uh, real world also now moving to the next slide so as i said standard costing always comes with the variance analysis so let's understand the definition of variance analysis also so variance analysis definition again a sigma definition what it talks about is the evaluation of performance by means of variances whose timely reporting should maximize the opportunity for managerial action so again this is very interesting and important definition because it again highlights you know very important points or the summary i would say three points what we need to you really focus on to understand what variance analysis does it's a timely evaluation so in standard costing we saw it's a periodic but then even if it is a periodic the evaluation has to happen on time so it's like kind of you know fixed time regularly like maybe you know if you are doing it monthly maybe you are doing the analysis 
within first five days, within 10 days, so that you have all the uh, similar data or the basis same. So it's going to be a timely evaluation. Then it helps you to optimization of opportunity. So it's not only a postmortem, but then it helps you to understand what is happening in the uh, real situation in the organization. Are there any things which may be, you know, possibility of doing things in a better way? Because obviously you are comparing here the overall cost and it is not related to only maybe as we, you know, earlier saw it is not only for the uh, production, but then it could be for the various other areas. So uh, that's why it is obviously is a very wide concept, but then the main purpose is to identify the opportunities where we can maybe, you know, optimize or maximize the current status. And the most important part of the brand's analysis is it should lead to a managerial action. Because if it is only a postmortem and then you are trying to identify the reason, but then if you are not going to act on that, the situation is not going to change. So that is why the branch analysis helps not only to identify, but then it also helps to decide what should be my course of action. So it's a very important managerial tool. Right? So now with this, I think uh, we now have a basic idea of the standard costing and variance analysis of the definition, you know, what definition talks about it. And then, as I said, maybe uh, here also, if you see it's, you know, easy to remember, maybe we can consider as P, O, M, so Tom, so maybe 3P and Tom, so timely evaluation, optimization of opportunities and managerial action, that is the abbreviation for Tom. So with standard costing and variance analysis definition, now I think let's move and see what is this variance analysis is all about? Means what kind of variance analysis we have? So here, basically, uh, again, uh, you know, the standard because variance analysis can be done in multiple ways because it's a kind of a breakdown of uh, you know identifying the reason or the standard versus actual comparison. What has caused uh, the differences? 